Hello gamers and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. Last episode, I got myself the squash armor. Very drippy, I know. So naturally, this episode I'll be working towards getting the final upgrade, the Fermento armor. But before we get into that, there's been a lot of changes since the last episode. For starters, the composter is completely different now. We actually have composter upgrades. You can upgrade the speed, you can get multiple composts, you can increase the fuel cap, the organic matter cap, and you can reduce the cost per compost. And also you can use crappie as organic matter now. I suggested this a couple of videos ago. I don't know if the admins took this from me. If that's the case, then I would like one creative mind. Thank you very much. Visitors are even more important now because we got new enchants, those being green thumb and dedication. Green thumb scales with how many unique visitors you have served but uh, as you can see the enchant is very very expensive it goes for 19 million coins at the bazaar right now 1500 copper for level one dedication scales with how many milestones you have for a specific crop much much cheaper but still very expensive so i'll just pass on both of these enchants for now next we got the yellow bandana which gives you 30 farming fortune we also have the green bandana which gives you four farming fortune for each garden level me being level 10 i'm gonna get 40 farming fortune since the maximum is level 15 you're looking at 60 farming fortune right here so Boom, thank you very much. Next up, we got Reforges. We got the Bustling Reforge, which gives 8 farming fortune for legendary rarity. Earthly, which gives 10 and 1 speed. And finally, we have Overgrown Grass, going for 78 million coins at the moment, which gives 25 farming fortune. And you get this from visitors randomly. Actually, I just looked it up, and there is apparently 5 Reforge stones, not just 3. And last, but definitely not least, Crop Prices have shot up in price significantly. Wheat went from one coin to six, seeds from 0 0.5 to three, carrot and potatoes went from one to four, pumpkins from four to 10, melons from 0 0.5 to two, cactus from one to three, mushroom from four to 10, nether warts and sugarcane went from two to five, and crappie squash and fermento multiplied by five billion. And you might have noticed I got the extra crappie I had out of my backpack because it actually has a use right now apart from the composter. We can craft a brand new accessory called the crappie talisman. Very creative, I know. I did not imagine that I would actually use the extra crappie I had, but uh, here we are. I already made a second melon set, so I'll just put that on, and I'll just keep farming potatoes until I have enough crappie. And I'm done. Now that I have my four stacks of crappie, I can do that, that, this, and finally that, and I get myself the crappie talisman. I did farm the necessary crappie, but there is no way I'm farming four stacks of squash to upgrade this. Especially because I will also have to upgrade the melon armor, which is actually far easier to do now, because seeds are now affected by farming fortune, unlike previously. So boxes of seeds are much, much easier to get, but it's still gonna take a very, very long time to do that, so I'll just buy it from Bazaar. Oh my god, it's 16.4 million per stack. Ooh, this, this really hurts. Oh my god. Yikes, this accessory is really expensive. I just, I only needed two stacks. Well, I guess I'll just sell this back. So uh, it only cost 30 million instead of 60. As for the melon armor, I'll just give it to my co-op noob over here because he started playing again. So, bruh, what you doing though? He started playing again. So I'll give him this to get him started in farming and boom, get my squash armor back. And while I was farming, I actually did a lot of visitors and I got Mystery Cisco over here, who's gonna give me a green bandana. So I'm making some of my money back already. <laughs> he kind of looks like Kanye West. What? <laughs> Pretty sure I bought mine for slightly over 25 million. So up you go for 25 mil and up you go. One very last thing. I got this to claim. So thank you for the extra farming fortune and time to start the next one. I keep saying one last thing, but for real this time, one very last thing. I have way more farming fortune now. And no, this is not only because of the green bandana. They also made it so that we get farming fortune from unlocking plots. We get three farming fortune per plot. And because I have 10, I'm getting an extra 30 farming fortune from this. You can never go wrong with more farming fortune though. So I'm just gonna get five of these and slap them on on my farming gear. 
There we go. With everything that has to do with the update out of the way, it's time to start working on Fermento armor. Now to drop Fermento, I'm gonna need to farm sugarcane, cactus, mushrooms, and nether warts. And I only have a 0.006% chance of it happening. My current plan is to buy this entire row of plots. These two are gonna be sugarcane, this one and this one are gonna be cactus, and finally this one and that one are going to be nether warts. I did not say anything about mushrooms because I've heard you need six plots for the farm to be infinite. That, no, no. Maybe in the future, but for now, I'm just gonna work on this. And as you can see, I have quite a lot of compost here. Okay, we need 128 compost. That's already two stacks. I only have enough for a single plot. The ones at the corners cost compost bundles. I don't even know how you make these things. Then I'll have to make some adjustments to the plan. Since I already have this one unlocked, I only need to unlock this one so that I can start farming. And I really want to start with sugarcane, so we're gonna have sugarcane going on like that, which is gonna look very ugly, but please forgive me. And uh, over here we're gonna have nether warts, and over here we're gonna have cactus, but that is for future interests to worry about, because I am busy clearing the plot that I just purchased, so hope I have fun in the future with that. Alrighty, just finished clearing it, my co-op actually helped a little bit, he's still clearing even though we're done. Now that we have that figured out, we go here, here, and empty plot that I saved last time, and since it seems I'm gonna need way more compost than I initially anticipated, I think I'm gonna try to get this stuff as high as possible, so let's just get the hay bale, and use my precious copper on this. Boom, bam, what the? It's asking for golden carrots. I thought this one would be exclusively hay and this one exclusively baked potatoes, but no. I'm too lazy to go into the lobby and get the alchemist thing. So boom, there you go. And now it's asking for enchanted hay bell again. Are they trolling me? Okay, it's golden carrots again. All right, I get it. I get it. I get it. There we go. And then 64 enchanted hay bell. Boom, that one's maxed out. Doesn't max out at 100%, it keeps going, what the heck? I already used a thousand copper though, I think I'm good. I don't really care about the cost reduction because I can just use hay bell, I have a lot of that, but I do want to upgrade the multi-drop chance and the organic matter cap. The fuel cap is useful, but it's not as useful as the other ones. Anyways, the plot is finished, so let's go ahead and paste this one. Boom, goodbye carrot farm, you will not be missed. <laughs> If I go back to my old sugarcane farm and start counting, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten blocks is the limit in the garden, as you all know. So we can plant the first sugarcane, but unfortunately, it will not grow. So we can only fit two layers in the plots, which means I'm gonna need two plots for an infinite farm, which is why I unlock two plots. I don't know why I'm telling you this after I've already done that, but anyways, it's time to start building. This farm only took around 15 minutes to build, which is a far cry from the lifetime it took me to build this monstrosity. Past trauma aside, the reason I wanted to start with sugarcane is because all I need to do is set my speed to 328, look at a 45 degrees angle, and now I can just press my A key. I can literally just do this for hours. I don't have to do anything. I'm literally holding one key and my left click button. That is all I have to do. And once I reach the end, I just collect my S key. The sugarcane hoe is the only tool that I have not made a video on. I have obviously included it in my cultivating series. I don't know, farming sugarcane just doesn't feel right for a video. I mean, it's three blocks tall. I can't even go into F5 and do the zoom thing. Never mind, I can for some reason. Anyhow, let me just check if any upcoming contests have sugarcane. There is one happening right now for mushroom, netherwort, and potatoes. There is one in four hours, which is going to be two in the morning for me, but my sleep schedule is completely ruined, so 
I'll probably participate in that. Until then, I'll just set this to the R key or something, and uh, I can just farm with my keyboard. I'll put my mouse aside and watch TikTok or something. I wasn't even paying attention, but I already got my first fermento. I need nine to make a condensed fermento, which then I can use to craft the armor. That is the last fermento I need in order to make myself a condensed fermento. And now I can see what I need to craft fermento armor. For the helmet, I'm gonna need two condensed fermento, half a stack of cane, half a stack of enchanted brown mushroom blocks, and red mushroom blocks. For the helmet, it's the same, plus an extra 25 enchanted cactus and 30 mutant nether wart. And for the leggings, it's 40 mutant nether warts without any cactus. So thankfully, I won't have to farm a lot of cactus. What about the accessory? I'm gonna need eight condensed fermentos. The accessory alone requires me to farm more fermento than the entire armor set. This took around an hour and a half. I did go AFK for like 20 minutes to eat and I did waste some time trying to figure out which angle I need to farm at down here because it's not the same and I found that 135 degrees exactly works perfectly. I can just do this and once I reach the end I uh, press my A key and go backwards and in the time it took me to drop the fermento I have farmed 11.6 thousand enchanted sugar and now I can see how much enchanted sugar can I have farmed over a stack, wow. 9.1 million coins for an hour and a half of farming. Honestly, not too bad. Are any of these bozos asking for sugarcane? You're asking for carrots? Wait, what's that? Flowering bouquet. What the heck is a flowering bouquet? I have never heard of that item before, so I need to know what that is. Give this guy the enchanted golden carrots he wants. Applies the blooming reforge when combined with equipment. Gives five farming fortune which is less than the one I bought from the Sky Mart, so this one's kind of useless. Oh wait, this is for equipment! I just realized! It's really cheap for some reason, so I'll just buy myself three more of these and go ahead and apply these. In you go. And boom. That's an extra 12 farming fortune. I'll take it. Of course, I managed to mess it up. The contest has already started. I am like a full minute late. They also made some changes to the tab menu in this update. So now you can see which contest is happening, when it's going to end, and when the next one is going to happen. And it also shows your crop milestone. So tab is very, very useful now. Actually, let me just quickly do this. Okay, now it should sound a lot better. I mean, it still sounds horrible, but at least it's acceptable now. This contest isn't very promising, to be honest. Gold still has a solid lead over me. It's not growing by much but it's also not going down at all. So I think I'll just have to draw in a different contest or something. But before then, I want to make some small changes to the farm design because I noticed I wasted quite a lot of time when I was trying to switch my angle from 45 to 135. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to pick both of these teleport pads. Hello there, editor interests here. I spent around 10 minutes trying to get this stupid thing to work and I didn't even explain what I did properly. But pretty much all I did, I have two teleport pads here and instead of having to drop down here, I just have a teleport pad that sends me back to the teleport pad under where I start farming and then I have another one here that sends me back to the start of the farm. This way, I don't have to change my farming degree and I can just stay at 45. And while I have your attention, you should totally subscribe and leave a like. Okay, back to the video. The contest has just started and this time I am not a minute late. Of course, the moment the contest starts, I glitch into the blocks. Everything is set the way it should be. I don't even need to move my mouse at all during this contest. So this should be gold. There we go, just made it to gold. I'm probably gonna drop down to silver in like three seconds, but yeah, there we go. Um, but I'm pretty confident that I can get gold. Never mind. It's been nine minutes of farming and gold's lead keeps growing. It's up to 3k. And the only things I'm missing are fermenter armor, the new enchants, and the maxed out reforge, which is like too expensive. I don't want to spend 70 million coins. I have 913 farming fortune, but it's still not enough to get gold. And unlike other crops where my farm design is questionable, this one is the best farm design that I know of. And it's not like I need the gold mail or anything. I have like 150. I don't even know what to use them for anymore. But it's just sad that I can't get gold. Two minutes left in the contest and there's been an interesting development. It's staying at plus one. It just said plus 200, but that is a far cry from the plus 3000 it was earlier. So maybe there is still a little tiny bit of hope that I can get gold somehow? Oh, gold? Okay, just drop back down to silver, but there's still an entire minute left to this contest. I think there is genuinely hope that I can get gold. Yep, just hit 540k with 45 seconds left in the contest. How? I was just gold. How is it plus 1400? Okay, back again to gold. Please, game, stabilize. I'm either silver or I'm gold. 
Okay, last 20 seconds, I'm gold. Last 15 seconds, I'm silver. Last 10 seconds, I'm still silver. Last three seconds and I'm still game. Please, gold, where's my gold? I, Jacob, Jacob, where, where's, my, where's my gold medal? Where is he? Wait, no, that's, that's, the, that's the previous contest. Jacob, bro, that, that better be gold. Gold had 3k over me. You know what's sad? If I had farmed the same exact amount in the last contest, I would have gotten gold. This game hates me. Before I call it a day, let me just get that compost, which should be enough for me to just do this, and boom. My first ever compost bundle. This thing is 10 million coins? What the? But once you factor in how much it costs to get the organic matter, I think it makes sense. And with this bundle, I should now be able to unlock... Let's go with this one. Boom. So tomorrow I'll clean up this plot and either slap down a nether wards farm or a cactus farm. I'm not sure. But that's for future me to worry about because I'm gonna go sleep. I have literally just logged on. A contest has just started. Pretty sure I have the right armor. I got the right speed. Okay. Um, it says I'm silver, but bronze has plus one. Now it says I'm bronze, but bronze has plus one. Uh-huh. Uh, the server is pretty drunk, but anyways, I've had some time to think about my plans, and because I don't need a lot of enchanted cactus, I think I'll just have a single plot for cactus. That way I don't need as much compost. As for the other two farms, I'm planning to unlock this plot and this plot and get rid of my cocoa beans farm, and then have another words here and mushrooms here or other way around. And uh, I failed to get gold, by the way. I only got silver. Gold had like 10,000 over me. So instead of needing to get eight compost bundle for a single plot, I can just get two and get two plots. I also got a ton of fermento, which means I can make a second condensed fermento, puggers. I already got over a stack and a half of compost. The composter upgrades go absolutely insane. Although I'm starting to run a little bit low on my fuel, so I need to do some more ghost grinding pretty soon. All right, it's been quite a while now. I should have enough comp, bruh. And the last compost that I needed has just finished. And now I should be able to do slash craft. Give me that. I've also been farming a little bit so I can make my third condensed fermento. But anyhow, do slash desk and unlock this one. What is the price for the next one? Two bundles. That's still much, much cheaper than just a single plot from these. Now that I have a decent amount of plots to work with, I guess it's time for the building montage 2.0. Those two farms combined only took me around an hour and 15 minutes to finish. And as you saw there, I only built two layers of the Netherworlds farm. That's because I was kind of tired and I only did two. So I'm gonna have to go through the whole thing and see if it's infinite, because some people are telling me it's not going to be infinite. So I'll just get my... I don't have the right tool. Never mind, it's right there, I'm blind. The design itself is very simple. You just literally do this. However, you do need to be aware of your speed. You need exactly 93 speed. So let's just do this, 93. And now, uh, what? That's the fungi cutter. 
Oh, uh, right. I don't have the right tool. I am blind. Okay. Okay. I actually got the right tool this time. And oh my god, this feels so slow. But yeah, I literally just hold D. That's all I have to do. Also, Netherworts now give farming XP instead of alchemy XP. So you can actually start farming Netherworts right off the bat if you want. By the way, I'm not standing on soul sand. I'm standing on dirt. So if you have soul sand under you, you might need higher speeds. But anyhow, once you reach the end of the farm, you just go forward and hold the other key. And just like sugarcane, I can just do this and uh, I don't even have to use my mouse anymore. The R key is a little bit awkward, so I might have to look for a different key. Ooh, level 239. I am one level away from the mythic prefix. You know what? I'll get that right now. I'll just buy some legendary pets that I don't have. Okay, that's pretty much all the pets that I'm missing that I can easily afford. So let's get all of these. Hey, that was enough. 240. Mythic level prefix. Look at that. I guess it's time to continue farming now. Let me just make sure I have the right pet. Yes, I do. And once I reach the end of the farm, I have a teleport pad here that sends me to just below the start of the farm so that I don't have to move my mouse or anything. And I have pretty much the same deal going on on the other side of the farm, except here I have teleport pads that send me back to the start of the farm instead of to a different layer because I just have to jump here. Uh, hello game, did I mess up my teleport pads? Uh, warp to six, yes. Why are you warping me to, hello? Okay, there we go. I don't know why that took so long. But uh, yeah, as you can see, the farm is pretty much fully grown. So it is infinite, which is good. And it also took me longer than 20 minutes, which is more than enough for a contest. Although I only got a single fermento from over 20 minutes of farming, in other words, which is horrible when compared to a sugarcane. But uh, anyways, this is the cactus farm, as you can see. There is absolutely no way this is going to be infinite. It's literally only a single plot with two layers. And to farm it, it's very simple. Let me just get that. Set my speed to 400 because you don't need to cap your speed when farming cactus with this design. Pretty much whenever I finish a row, I just need to move forward and then farm in the other direction. And once again, when I reach the end of the farm, I have a teleport pad that sends me to the start of the layer below. Obviously for these farms, the longer they are, the better it is because you don't have to move forward as much and it's easier to semi AFK. All right, I'm done. That took pretty much no time. It's time for me to check how much cactus I got from that 700, which is going to allow me to make, let's see, um... That's four, which means I'm gonna need to harvest the farm six times. Honestly, that is not a problem. That is probably way less than what I need to harvest the Netherworts farm. Speaking of which, let's see how much Netherwort I got from that, 5.7K. Okay, 32, and I'm going to need, that is 30, 40, 70. I need 70 mutant Netherwort. Farming the resources is way less time consuming than I expected. Hopefully the mushrooms don't make me regret saying those words. Hi, yes. It's industry interests. Again. For whatever reason, my recording software decided to stop recording my voice. So, I have to do a voiceover for this part of the video. After building the Netherworts farm, I spent a while just farming Netherworts. As you would expect. And while doing that, I got enough compost to unlock the last plot that I needed. And thanks to all the farming I did, I got 14,000 enchanted netherworts. In other words, more than enough mutant netherwort to craft all the pieces of fermento armor. I also farmed cactus after each full harvest of the farm, getting me a total of 18 enchanted cactus. After clearing said plot, I got to building the mushroom farm. It's a shame that my voice wasn't recorded because this farm was a bit complicated, so I decided to actually show how I built it. Anyhow, you start off by placing five slides labs five blocks apart from one another. A little trick I did here is I enabled the block highlight mod so that it's easier to count the blocks. Then you use a builder's ruler to place slabs on top of the slabs you just placed, and then you use a builder's wand to place slabs under those, just like this. After that, you go back to using the builder's ruler again to delete the top layer of the slabs. Then you fill in the gaps with blocks, and use the builder's ruler to place a row of blocks on top of the blocks you just placed. You can use either Podzol or Mycelium, doesn't really matter. I went with Mycelium because it's easier to buy from the bazaar, but do keep in mind that it's a lot more expensive than Podzol. After you do all of that, you just make a zigzagging U shape, and then you just break those blocks and place slabs over there. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the mushroom farm. And now, let's go back to the video. I just got back in at the perfect time for a Netherworts contest. I already participated in a Netherworts contest and it was embarrassing. Gold had nearly 150K over me. That was the lowest gold rated player. But I've been told by people with over a thousand farming fortune that Netherworts is just ridiculous, so I'm not even that mad. But for the next contest, there is a little upgrade that I forgot to get because it's very expensive, so I wanted to make myself forget. Since now we have actual farming reforges, it's worth recombobulating your armor and your equipment. I'm gonna need eight recombobulators. And the price of those recombobulators currently is 9.5 million coins, which means it's going to cost me 
75.5 million coins to recombobulate my armor, which is somehow still cheaper than a single overgrown grass, this being the best reforge for armor. I looked up the best reforge for equipment, it's called the Borrowing Spores and it gives the Rooted Reforge, but it is a little bit expensive so I'm not gonna buy it. I'm just gonna hope that I drop it because you get it by farming mushrooms, which I just built over there. Speaking of which, I've never seen a mushrooms farm grown this much. The farm on my main island, which hasn't been harvested in like a year, has not grown as much as that. Oh, my order just failed. And there goes 75 million coins. Let me go check out my farming fortune. I had 926. Now it's 942. That's quite the upgrade, to be honest. Also, one of the new enchants only goes up to level four. Um, I don't know why it's going for 95 million. I mean, you can just buy eight of these and you can make a level four, which is actually what I'm going to do right now. Give me eight of these and it's 15.8 million coins. Yikes. Oh, I can buy enough with my own copper. Okay, I'm just gonna go cancel the order. I only got one, so I only need to buy seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Combine them. What? Why can I not make a level four? Well, that's a little bit awkward. You can only get it through the librarian NPC. You can just buy eight of these and you can make a level four. That explains why it's 95 million in the bazaar. Because you can't make it. You need to get it from the NPC. I guess I'll stick with level three for now, which gives one farming fortune for crops multiplied by your garden milestone for that crop. And my garden milestone for nether warts is 20, which means it's gonna give me an extra 20 farming fortune when farming nether warts. So let's go ahead and apply that. There we go. Set my my speed to 93. Contest is starting in five minutes, but my farm is infinite, so it really doesn't matter when I start. So I guess I'll see you in 25 minutes when I fail to get gold, which is exactly what ended up happening. But this time I got nearly 700k, which is much, much better than the 650k I got last contest. And I would like to get some of my coins back, so I'll just quickly sell any nether worth that I don't need. It's gonna get me 9.5 million coins that will at least pay for the enchants. And actually something I forgot to mention about the nether worth farm, if you're going for this design and if you're on bad line like myself just look for hitboxes and enable this one update crop hitboxes to 1.12 if you don't have this on then this is what's going to happen. The headbox for nether warts is mega tiny, as you can see. So at best, you're only going to be able to farm three nether warts at once. However, if you do enable the new headbox, the headbox is going to be bigger for the fully grown nether warts, but smaller for the smaller nether warts, which is going to allow you to break five nether warts at once. I'm pretty sure the patcher mod on Forge also has a feature like this. I'm not sure if it's patcher or if it's another mod, but uh, yeah, just keep that in mind and uh, enable it if you're building a similar design to this one. But anyways, it is time for me now to try out the mushroom farm and I am supposed to farm at 173 speed. You're not supposed to go sideways. You're supposed to do this. Go forward and hold left click. You see, this way I'm farming four blocks. And also, before I forget, let me just quickly do this. Boom, bam, boom, bam, and boom. Let me just make sure my sacks are empty for this. And apparently when farming mushrooms, having a specific speed or angle doesn't matter that much, as long as you're breaking four out of five blocks. All right, first layer is done. Let's move on to the second layer. Hello, teleport pad. Okay, there we go. Had to jump for some reason. Second layer is done. Moving on to the third. And I am done. This took around half an hour to farm the whole thing, so it is definitely enough for a contest. And as you can see, the farm is fully grown again. Actually, it seems more grown now than it was when I first harvested it. But I just want to quickly get one of these. Maybe one more. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to check how many mushrooms I got. 1,637 enchanted red mushrooms and 827 enchanted brown mushrooms, which is going to be 25 enchanted brown mushrooms. Okay, that's a lot more than I expected. Then what about the red ones? 51. 51 enchanted red mushroom blocks and 25 enchanted brown mushroom blocks. And I need how much? Half a stack for each piece, so a stack and a half. This is gonna take far less time than I was expecting. There's a mushrooms contest happening in half an hour, so until then, I'm just gonna go farm some sugarcane because I am one fermento away from making my fifth condensed fermento. There we go, took quite a while. Give me these. 
All right, now just need to do that, and boom, my fifth condensed fermento. Just need one more, and I can make myself fermento armor, assuming I can get enough brown mushrooms before then. Because I'm pretty sure I have more than enough enchanted cactus. Let me just craft this into enchanted cacti. There we go, and uh, yes, I do have exactly enough, so I guess I'll keep the rest for visitors or something. And once again, because the farms are infinite, it does not matter when I start farming. Uh, I have forgotten my speed, although it doesn't really matter. Actually, let's try 200 this time. You know what? I'll start farming from the brown mushrooms layer. That way, once I'm done with the contest, it'll be already grown and I can farm it again. 18 minutes has passed and the contest has just started. Oh, wow. Instantly gold. Okay. <laughs> Drop down to silver as to be expected, but it still says gold has plus one. Although, mushrooms contests have always been very, very weird, so I don't really trust that. It took quite a while, but I'm finally back to gold, and hopefully I'm gonna stay in gold. Never mind. Back to silver. And just finished the first layer. Moving on to the second, or rather I finished the third layer and now I'm moving back to the first layer. I know earlier I said the angle doesn't matter, but I think around 32 and then negative 32 for the other side seems to be the best. Hold on, let me try to push it to 33. Okay, seems to be good as well. Can I go further? Okay, 33.5, I miss a couple. Then what about 33.3? .3? I still miss a couple. All right, let's just keep it 33 flat. All right, I'll keep farming with 33 degrees because I just got gold and I'm actually staying gold this time for once. And never mind. I of course had to jinx it. And once I reach this, get negative 33, exactly like that. All right, that seems to be good. I'm back to gold. So uh, I'll see you once the contest is over. The contest had ended a long, long time ago, but I just came back to farm some mushrooms because that will give me enough for me to get uh never mind. I still need some more. Okay, surely this is going to be enough. Yes, it is. All right, let's just craft the red mushrooms now. There we go. And as you can see, I already got a ton of fermento, so let's do that. And of course, I did get gold in the mushrooms contest as well as a sugarcane contest. But as you can see, for some reason, the contests are being boosted by Finnegan, even though Cole is the mayor. Welcome to Hypixel Skyblock. I got 17k over the lowest rated gold player in the mushrooms contest, and pretty much 100k over the lowest rated gold player in sugarcane. But setting that aside, I now have everything I need in order to craft myself fermento armor. Helmet in the middle, half a stack of sugarcane on top of it, condensed fermento in the corners, mushrooms there, and mushrooms there, it's the other way around. And I get myself the mythic fermento helmet. So again, condensed fermento is in the corner, chest plate over there, cactus there, mushrooms like that. Actually, cactus goes over there, and scented sugarcane in the middle, and then mutant netherwort in the bottom corners. Mushrooms are the other way around, and I get myself the fermento chest plate. And for the leggings, it is the same as the helmet, except with netherwort in the bottom corners. So boom, and the mushrooms are wrong again. Boom, there we go. That is the last piece of fermento armor. I am getting 973 farming fortune. That's pretty much an extra 30 farming fortune just from the armor itself. I got zero borrowing roots, by the way. That drop must be very, very rare. Now, the thing about fermento armor is I will still drop fermento if I farm the same crops, which is good because I still have this guy to upgrade. And I am gonna need a lot of fermento. So I'm gonna go with the easiest option here, which is sugarcane for me. And uh, I guess I'll see you in like 10 billion years because that's probably how long it's gonna take to drop the fermento. I am finally done. When I started grinding the fermento for the accessory, my host counter was at 70.4 million sugarcane. And now, it's at 85.7 million sugarcane. I farmed over 15 million sugarcane to get 8 condensed fermento. And as you might have noticed, some new drip just dropped. I'm really happy with how it turned out. You, you got the tree waving over there in the sunlight, the clouds, and the bandana has a little bird flying through. I'm really, really happy with it. Goes really well with the Fermento set as well. I don't know, I just really like it. But anyhow, I can finally do this, put this guy in the middle, surround it with condensed Fermento, and get myself the Fermento artifact a 60 million coins accessory. But uh, from all that farming, I have gotten quite a decent amount of enchanted sugarcane, as you can see here, which is worth 77.8 million coins. So far, I've used around 200 million coins on this video, so this is very, very helpful. Let me just set up a sell offer, boom. And also, speaking of coins, I have 48 unclaimed contests and 178 gold medals. With mathematical hope blueprints going for 3 million coins at the moment, 
I have the potential to make a lot of coins from this, which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, final count of 195 golden medals and a whole bunch of enchanted turbo books. As for the tickets, they are worth 46 million. Okay, I was expecting a lot less. But uh, anyhow, Anita, give me a bunch of these. Time to put all of this stuff in the auction house. Let me just confirm their price. They are 3.1 million, not 3 million. Good thing I checked. 3.1. I just reached the limit of how many items I can auction, so in the meantime, I'll just set up buy offer for a thousand tickets. How much is that? 57.6 million coins, but I'll probably need even more because of how many gold medals I have. I might end up crashing the market at this rate. Anyhow, one more thing I want to check is how many melons I'm gonna get in 20 minutes. My current personal best is 1.1 million, but I've upgraded my armor and I also got the new accessory. So I'm just gonna wait for the next melon contest to start, which is in an hour, and uh, we'll see the difference between crappie armor and fermento armor, because the last time I farmed melons, I still had crappie armor. Dude, look, look at that cape, man. It's it's so nice, the tree and the... I'm, I'm really happy with these cosmetics. But anyhow, as you can see, the contest has started, and someone just bought two of my mathematical hope blueprints. Of course, being the idiot that I am, I am two minutes late to this contest, so I'm just gonna scrap it, because there is one right after it, so I'll participate in that one too, but I'm still pretty curious to see how much I get in 18 minutes. Actually, speaking of these cosmetics, I've decided to do a giveaway for a set of these things and the set obviously includes the cape and the bandana just comment your IGNs down below and uh, obviously make sure you're playing on bad line because otherwise you won't be able to use them just drop the squash which for some stupid reason by the way is the same price as fermento actually even more and yes I know I am not wearing the lantern helmet that is on purpose because if you look at my farming fortune right now it's 968 if I wear it it will go down it is 965 the fermento helmet recombobulated is better than the lantern helmet as for the boots if you're farming 60 then they're the same but ranchers boots are better because you can control your speed despite being two minutes late I still got gold and I got myself a new personal best. I almost hit 1.2 million melons, and I just did it again. I just participated in a complete contest from start to finish, and I got nearly 1.3 million melons. But I am more interested in seeing how much money I made in that 20 minutes, so I'll just convert all the enchanted melons I farmed into enchanted melon blocks, and see how much that is worth. 2.7 million coins, which is a little bit less than what I was making when I was farming sugarcane. I was making around 3.1 million coins every 20 minutes, which is around 9.3 million per hour. Of course, not counting the fermento drops. I probably should have included this earlier in the video, but before you ask, this is how I set up my inventory buttons. First of all, I'm on Badline Client. So if you're not on Badline Client, you won't be able to do this unless you're on Forge, which has other mods for this. Anyhow, if you're on BLC like me, Go into your Skyblock mods and look for inventory buttons. This thingy right here, click it. And now you can have any of these locations as an inventory button. I'm gonna pick this one right here. And let's have slash anvil as the command. And to set an icon for it, I just type in the anvil. This system is both good and bad because if you don't know the item ID, you won't be able to set it as the icon, but it also gives a lot of freedom. For example, if I want a very specific item, let's say a large uh, enchanted mining sack, boom. I can do that. So yeah, gives you a lot of freedom, but if you don't know the item's ID, you're kind of screwed for the anvil. It's obviously gonna be an anvil, click save. And now if I open my inventory, it's right there. I can click it and it does the command for me. And uh, yeah, that's how you do it. But anyhow, it is time for me to claim my auction house because once again, most of it sold and I got 31 million coins to claim. And again, and again, and again, and again, again. And again, and again, and again, and one last time. Not because I ran out, but because Derpy is being elected in an hour and a half. Which is pretty unfortunate for me because I still have 17 gold medals, as well as a couple more melon dicers. Speaking of melon dicers, as you might have noticed, I started selling tools instead of mathematical hope blueprints. That's because tools are worth a lot more money for some reason. So I still have somewhere around 70 to 80 million coins depending on the price. It seems to fluctuate a lot between 3.3 million up to 3.8 million per melon dicer. Other tools are somewhere around the same price, 
guys. In the meantime, I did some more farming, got myself some more sugarcane, as well as some fermento, which I'm going to sell for 1.5 million for the fermento and 11 million coins for the sugarcane. I also ended up dropping one of these, which is the best reforge for equipment. Got it while farming mushrooms, because that's the only way to get it, but unfortunately, I was not recording. Slap it on one of these, boom. I still need to get three of those, but I just need to get lucky while farming mushrooms. As for the overgrown grass, despite serving a lot of visitors, I still haven't seen that thing. I don't even believe it exists anymore. I spent around 200 million coins in this video, but I made around 400 million coins. So farming is big money at the moment, especially sugarcane. I'm a huge fan of this crop because I just watch YouTube while I farm. I'm not sure if I'll be making another video on the garden or not because I pretty much did everything I need to do, which means this video has come to an end. So as usual, thank you so much for watching gamers. Thank you to my channel members. And I'll see you later. Peace.